Rajin DK give you this eight episode celebration again of violence, 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 password, identity, drift of bad guys and good guys clashing with one another, fighting one another, chasing, then going through the dark areas, grey areas, shots of the trains moving past, city traffic moving past. How often do we see these many temples in the name of the Mediterranean? Raj and DK, you make an eight episode story to tell us something that is just difficult. You take actors like Shahid Kapoor and Vijay Sethupati to do something like what they deliver there? Is this a director mishap? Or is it somewhere in the script that everything went wrong? I don't know. But at the end of eight episodes, you don't feel that you had an experience. Not I. I think from episode one of it, except that the theme is set in the tone clear, there's very little to recommend about the movie. They divide between the criminal and the law, and how the criminal very often gets the better of the law, and finally, whether the law really catches up with the criminal, because now we don't even ask, we are not even sure any longer that they do, because there's going to be a second season, or a third season. So nothing ends. This perpetuation of its hate, its negativity. And for We all know that criminals are specialists. They work in specific areas, from chain snatchers to drug peddlers to sex workers to counter band or counter criminal. For some part of the narrative, you wonder if you're sitting through a documentary being shown to police officers and how counterfeit notes are made and how they need to disappear. Such a detail. You think you're, you're sitting through a papa punch only, but no, that's not what it is. It all ends up in a very peripheral attempt to show that the filmmaker knows what he's talking about. And having shown the detail, does he deal with detail at a later point in time? No. How the police works? Nothing. How this guy learns the art? Nothing. Explain with a simple serendipitous statement that it was about it. Connor. There are as many loopholes as the length of eight episodes of 15 minutes each can have. It's worse than a road, the problem with Bihari road to the The story is about this young boy abandoned by his father, son, and his friend. Heroes, who grow up to be Shahid Kapoor and Guwana Rola, who are taken under the care of Sunny's grandfather. Wow. Surprise? Who have his Nanu Amolpa as the old idealist grandfather who runs Quran to the newspaper. That's obviously And then you have the villain in KK Menon who runs an international uh, gang of uh, people who produce and distribute high currencies in India. We're not even sure whether they make it with either they're India specific specialists. He himself reports to some events. And when KK Menon realizes that his monopoly is being tampered with by Sunny the Economist, who starts life as a small artist who draws pictures on pavements. He first attacks and then gets him into his camp, shows him the carrot, gets his grandfather operating, he gets very nice. Then the fire hits them under the very good way. Resulting this arsenal of this destruction. There's a single positive bone anywhere in the street. If this is not enough, you have Rashi Khanna, 
coming in as Mega. Mega is a police officer who is uh, the new broom wanting to sweep. They throw in her as a mole. Now we don't know whether she's the moon or uh, Sunny is the moon, but they are in a relationship of sorts. Finally, as I said, there's destruction at the end of the day. So, by which time, any which way you hope everything is destroyed and done. In the midst of all this, you have an extremely talented person who completely wasted. He has a marriage that's breaking. He has a little child. A typical break of marriage, a boozing police officer, suspended. We've heard this from our Sakya, haven't we? 30 years ago, why are you repeating these half truths again today? Dated beyond redemption, told without imagination that this has any redeeming values. It's because I'm old, but I can't say for small group. And Bhuvan Arora as Kuros comes up with a very, very good performance as Sunny Society. He has a nice etched script in his favor and he does what he has just done. Of course, shy, extremely talented actor. He can't muck up a little bit of a gang. No script can muck him up. He can do something like Fada Poster, Nikola Hero, even that he can do. So, Shahid has a nice role, but this is no great uh, role for Shahid. He can uh, sleepwalk in this, and uh, in spite of that, he adds some kind of intensity to first. Otherwise, I'm afraid Farsi is complete. Avoid wasting time watching eight episodes of Naked. On that count, with acknowledgement and thanks to Abhinav Dhabi, I'll sign. Thank you.